Uh, welcome to the PD Guns unit of the Warring the Pacific National Historical Park, uh, where you can find three uh, Vickers type British uh, designed artillery guns that were installed here hastily by the Japanese uh, in early 1944, just before American troops stormed the beaches of Guam in their attempts to liberate it from the Japanese. The first question that usually visitors ask us about the guns is how these guns were brought here so high up from the level of the sea into the jungle and have them uh, installed here? Well, uh, uh, the answer is uh, the Japanese used the forced local uh, labor uh, and uh, the, uh, they used the trunks of the tree uh, to move uh, the guns or that were uh, broken down into several large pieces. Uh, and by rolling them over those logs, uh, they were able to bring these guns up uh, the jungle, up the hill here, to have them installed. Uh, these guns have a range of about 10 miles, which means that uh, the shells fired from these artillery guns could hit targets as far as Aganya or uh, as south as uh, Agat. Uh, luckily, uh, the Japanese never managed to fully complete the installation of these guns and these guns today are known to be the silent guns because they were never actually fired from. If you try to picture yourself this location on the map, you will see how strategically important uh, this location is and why the Japanese chose this location to install these guns. At the time, there was not as much uh, vegetation here and the people who were manning these artillery guns would have had a clear view of the upper harbor, a very important strategic location of the Arati Peninsula, where the only flight line at the time on the island was, uh, and uh, further to the north, uh, to Aganya, where the administrative center of Guam was and still is. So the location was extremely important. Uh, interestingly, uh, all three of these guns were designed in 1913, just before World War I, by the British, and they were brought here by the Japanese, and they were installed here and brought up the jungle by forced Chamorro labor, ironically, never to be put in action. So uh, these guns today serve us as a living uh, witnesses of the absurdity, cruelty, and uh, interesting facts surrounding uh, World War II, uh, and especially here on Guam.